Hey, hi, welcome back to Chalkford. Oh my god, if you're looking at the video, this is a little wild. <laughs> what a horrible angle, why did I do this? Doesn't matter, it's fine. Hi, uh, welcome back to Talk for 10. My name is Nicole, this is where I hit the record button, I talk for 10 minutes, and then uh, I stop and then I upload it. There's no editing, there's no um, cuts, there's no nothing, That that's it. So, <laughs> there's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. If you're watching on video, you'll see I'm in a different spot. This is my bathroom, so it might sound different if you're listening. It's because I'm in my bathroom instead of my car. <laughs> so if you hear birds and stuff, Oh my god, there's a bunny in my garden. Oh, hi, honey. Dude, there's so many mushrooms in my garden too. What the heck? There's wood chips around my garden beds and there's just mushrooms all over the place. Okay, that's not what I came here to talk about. I'm out of breath, I'm talking so fast. Hold on. You know what, take a deep breath with me. Ready, in. Okay, we're good. I think it's just because I got really excited. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about something specific and uh, the specif specificities is, um, holy crap, ADHD makes your brain so weird. I'm not officially diagnosed, but it's like, <laughs> it's basically a guarantee at this point, given the evidence. So today I woke up and I was like, oh, you know, it's like, it's like almost nine o'clock. Um, that's great. I don't have any big plans today and I haven't cleaned my room in like a couple months. Actually more than that. I don't really do, I don't clean my room. There's laundry everywhere. The floor drobe is crazy. Um, my closet just has a pile of clothes in it. I don't think I've washed my sheets in a long time. This is all really like <laughs> not endearing things for me to share, but again, ADHD, depression, all that good stuff. It makes um, taking care of your outer world very difficult. So today I decided I'm gonna clean my room. And this could be an entire day project, which doesn't work for my ADHD either, but I digress. So I got up at nine o'clock and I said, okay, I have, I'm gonna give myself an hour to have like coffee, breakfast, uh, finish watching the season of Survivor that I've been binge watching. And then, um, and then I'll clean at 10 o'clock. So that's great. Well, I just wanna let you know it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I haven't started yet. It's 11 a.m. And then I was like, okay, cool, I got this. But then, I don't know if this is something everybody does or if this is an ADHD thing or what, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna start cleaning then. I should clean now. But I thought, oh, I can't, <laughs> I can't clean until I wash my face because I'm gonna get distracted if I can feel my face. Like if I could feel that my face is dirty, I won't be able to clean, which doesn't make any sense. I understand. But I was like, I'm gonna wash my face because that's something that won't bug me. And then I went to my room and I went, I have to pick the perfect outfit for cleaning. That's gonna be comfy and I can bend in and move in and I'm not gonna think about. And so then I had to search through my floor drobe to find the outfit I was gonna wear. And then I was thinking, okay, so now, it's already been like two hours since I had breakfast, so I should probably eat something or else I'm gonna have to stop because if I have to stop cleaning, I might not get back to it. There's just a lot of distractions. There's a lot of things that I keep saying. <laughs> I gotta do this first before I can do it. Like, I feel like ADHD people, at least people that think like me, we are so good at prepping for something. <laughs> Like I made a whole list this morning. I was like, these are all the things I got to do with little check marks. And this is kind of how long it might take. And you know, if I start now, I should be able to get everything done by at least 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. Even if it takes me the longest it should ever take me. And that being said, I never know how long anything is going to take. I think the dishes is going to take hours when I know it only takes 20 minutes. It's a whole thing. So now I'm here. It's past 11 o'clock now, I haven't started my cleaning <laughs> and I'm trying to do it before it gets to a point where I just give up. You know, I go, oh, it's too bad. It's too late now. Like, I, there's no point in starting now because I've just wasted my whole day already. So I might as well just doom scroll the rest of the day instead. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna clean. I'm gonna clean today and I'm determined to clean today. Sorry about the barking dogs. Maybe they'll stop. Maybe you can't even hear it. I actually don't know. So I put on my Costco travel dress 
and some shorts and I put my hair up and I look like this. And then I'm probably gonna spend 20 minutes picking something to listen to while I clean. <laughs> oh! Also, I had to make, I had to make a mental stop point, like the end of a shift. So I was like, I'm gonna be done. I, I gotta finish anything. Wow, I'm so sorry. That was seven sentences at once. I'm gonna finish at three o'clock today because in my brain, if I don't have an end point, then I have convinced myself it's going to last forever. Like I'll be like, I'm gonna clean for the rest of my life and then I'm not motivated to do it. So I have to give myself an end point where it's like, all I have to do is clean until 3 p.m. and then I can do something else. But I keep getting distracted at the beginning and pushing it back. And then my window of cleaning, it's shorter and I don't get it finished. And then I get discouraged because I didn't finish it. And then I think, what's the point? <sighs> Brains are so hard, man. Brains are weird. Why am I like this? So I reached out to my friends and I was like, okay, listen. I'm planning on doing a big old clean today. That really needs to happen. And I've wanted to do it for months and I just haven't gotten to it. And finally I have a weekend where I don't really have things planned and there's nobody home because they're all out doing stuff. So it's a great opportunity for me to do this. Um, especially because I have bags of dishes in my room. <laughs> they're clean, like they're rinsed off, but I have to go and like put them away. And I don't know why they're in my room. I think they were in my car and I didn't want to show anybody I had bags of dishes. So I put them in my room instead. And now I have two bags of Tupperware dishes in my room. I don't know, okay? I can't tell you why my brain is like this. My brain is just like this. So I reached out to my friends and I said, hey, I'm doing a big clean. The first half, once I get started, won't be a problem because then I'll hyper-focus on it. But I can guarantee that halfway through, I'm gonna wanna give up. So I'm going to try to do like a FaceTime with them this afternoon because body doubling helps me a lot. Like if somebody else is cleaning, I'm gonna get up and clean things. Cause like, I, I, got, I wanna help, you know, I wanna help, <laughs> but if I'm just me, then I get distracted doing things like fucking washing my face and finding the right clothes and just finding other things that I have to do before I can actually do. Yeah. But also, <laughs> I'm just, I'm dumping all my brain laundry out here for you. There's another thing. Some of you might think, hey, maybe if I just like tell you to do the things you need to do, um then that'll help you. No. Do you know why? Because I have a problem with authority. And so if you tried to tell me what to do, I will literally not do it. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like if I, especially if I already had planned on doing the thing, which you would never know that I planned on doing it because it's all in my head and I plan on doing everything. So it's not your fault. But let's say I was like, I'm gonna do the dishes right now. And someone went, hey, can you do the dishes? I'd be like, nope, no, I can't. Actually, change my mind. I will never do them now because you told me to do it. And now it doesn't feel like I'm doing it on my own. It feels like you told me to do it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. <sighs> Brains are so difficult. Brains are so weird. Like, I don't want to be a messy person. It's not what I want. And I think that it's true when they say that your outer world is kind of a reflection of your inner world, because I'll be honest, there's like 7,000 things happening in the set at once. So it, may, it makes sense that my room is literally covered on every surface with clothes and paperwork and just stuff. It makes sense. But, you know, at least I know this and I am trying to like, not trying, not trying, I'm doing, I am doing. I'm finding ways to work around it. I just haven't found the four systems that work together as a whole system to actually make everything happen at once. You know, like one week I'll be really good at cooking and one week I'll be really good at tidying and one week I'll be really good at going to the gym and one week I'll be really good at brushing my teeth or like doing self care. But for some reason, I can't do all of them at once. <laughs> it's like one or the other. Anyway, thank you for joining my rant about my own ADHD for 10 
holy crap, 10 minutes I talked about myself, about my ADHD. Maybe you can relate to this. I don't know. Thanks for listening. Love you. Bye. <laughs>